this is originally a 30 minutes talk but we'll try to wrap it up under 5 minutes uh, so uh, so the aim over here is that uh, what is the minimum setup that we need in order to create special rest apis uh, based on the data that we have and the flavor of python that we are going to use over here or the framework would be django so we are going to see what is django what is your django then django rest framework and finally we will end uh, the uh, by django rest framework gis so django it's a quite famous framework if you want to create the complete application uh, and it's it's very easy to get started you just start the project and uh, just like uh, so in django essentially you build each of your business logic as as an individual app you can also connect your database in this case i have connected a post gis uh, since i want to do geospatial stuff with it and then that's all once you run the django you will get the uh, you will get a nice ui and also uh, you will get an admin panel that 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 you can do a lot of things with Uh, next thing that we we are adding to our stack is geo django which is an extension of django which understands gis so uh, it is built with uh, gdial post gis uh, proj geos special it and osgo 4w uh, so the the way we start using it is by simply mentioning that we want to use django in install apps uh, in the settings.py file and if you are on m architecture uh, uh, you might have to add some more settings to it as well and then that's all then you can start creating your models and you can specify what kind of uh, what kind of uh, geometry you want to store it can be point line polygon or it can be a, a generic uh, geometry field as well and then you can just get your data in in the front end and you can use things such as like city.geometry.x and and y to get lat and long and if you want to get a wkt you can also get a wkt back and there you go so by adding geo django we can actually store the data in gis format and also use the data from gis format next thing we are looking at is a django rest framework which allows us to actually get the data from our model in a uh, serialized format so straight forward you just do installation again visit back uh, installed apps and add uh, rest framework over there then once you create a serializer in our case for cities uh, and then just mention it uh, in the views you have a running and working uh, rest api for you which will allow you to get the data the complete data or get a specific uh, city by uh, by sending id and you can also do things such as post put delete and last i would like to wind up with introducing django rest framework so uh, the very important thing that it will bring to us is that over here as you can see that the geometry is in a wkt format but uh, if we use and also for me to post the data i have to send it as a wkt but by adding django rest framework gis into installed apps uh, and just mentioning that what is the field that is going to be geometry i can get the data back in a uh, geojson format there are multiple filters that we get uh, in it i am not really sure if we have time all right so we do get multiple filters by default uh, with django rest framework such as we can actually filter our data by passing bounding box or uh, we can also create the uh, geometry on the fly so let's say if you if you don't have a special data but you have lat and long as a separate column you can actually create the geometry on the fly you can also use various um, functions available so for example over here i had a geometry as a point but i wanted to show it as a buffer as a polygon and yeah you can do that Uh, and there you go so you can actually see the data in a geojson format and then you can also filter the data so as i said you can do it with bounding box filter where you can just send the bounding box you can also do tms style filter where you can actually send the z x and y and then that's all thank you